Hi everyone, Angela here. I'm going to be adding this size 3 dress zipper with a small slider to a tote bag. If you have a heavier zipper with a longer slider and coiled teeth, that's even better. The length of the zipper from the top stoppers to the end should be about an inch and a half to two inches longer than the width of the bag. If you have a much longer zipper, I'll show you how you can easily shorten it. Cut the end two inches longer than the width of the bag. Cut away the bottom stopper and separate it. Now we need to remove the zipper teeth, but you don't want to just cut along the fabric as it'll fray. Carefully snip a couple of stitches between the tape and the coil. Loosen up the top thread and pull at it. If the thread doesn't unravel easily, repeat this on the other end. The stitching should unravel easily and the coil comes right off. Remove the rest of the stitching from the other side of the tape and you're left with a nice clean piece. Measure around double the width of the zipper and cut half an inch more. Carefully use a lighter or candle to seal the two short ends. With the zipper teeth side up, center the smaller piece on top matching the edges. Keep everything nice and straight and stitch close to the left edge right across. Turn over and cut the end of the zipper so it's just in the center of the tape. Now fold the top of the tape down and the bottom up, matching the edges, and flip over. Stitch across close to the edge at the bottom, back tacking at the start and finish, and then repeat for the top edge. The sharp ends of the teeth are nicely tucked in between the layers, and the edge of the tape on the back won't fray. To prepare the top of the zip, open up a bit. Fold the inner corner down so that the top edge matches the side and you have a 45 degree angle. Now fold down along that bottom edge straight across, again matching those side edges. Carefully sew a few stitches to hold it all in place and then repeat on the other side. If you're finding this video helpful, make sure to like, share, subscribe, turn on all notifications, and leave a comment below. I'll be lining up the zipper along the bottom edge of this hem. On one of the side seams, I'm marking 3 eighths of an inch on either side close to the top just to show you where to stop sewing. You don't need to do this. Have the zipper teeth side down, place the zipper so that the top is close to the side seam, the tape is in line with the hem, and then pin in place. Continue matching the edges and pin across to the other seam. You actually don't have to open up the zipper, but if you did, just zip it closed again. Mark on the other side of the tape where the straps are. Open up the zipper and then match the marks on the opposite side where the straps are and pin in place. The bottom end of the zipper shouldn't be twisted. Once it's all pinned, there should only be a little bit of space between the top ends. Starting from the bottom of the zipper tape, back tack from this mark and stitch along the center of the tape. You may have to change your foot or the position of your needle. When you get to the other seam, back tack over each end to make it nice and strong. Continue stitching and then back tack at the other mark before the seam. Pull the zipper closed, leaving the extra tape inside. Both ends of the zipper have a nice tight finish and the straps are even. Make sure to check out some of my other videos. Thanks again for watching. Take care and happy sewing.